Hello students, welcome back. Let's take up another board question from this year 2025. So the question is, a wire of length L is gradually stretched so that its length increases to 3L. If its original resistance is R, then its new resistance will be 3R, 6R, 9R or it will be 27R. So let's understand this question first. We have been given a wire whose length is given. All right. So this is a wire whose length is given as L. Now this wire is stretched to three times its original length. So this wire, if we stretch it to three times its original length, now the resistance of this wire will change. So the length now becomes 3L. As a result of this stretching, the wire's length increases and the resistance also changes. So we have to find out what will be the new resistance of this stretched wire. So the concept which we need to remember here is that both the wires will have the same volume, right? Because we are not adding any mass or we are not subtracting any mass, right? So we are just stretching this wire only to three times its value. Now, if this wire is of particular thickness, now if we stretch that wire only, so it is that volume only we are stretching. The length is increasing, but the area of cross section decreases so that the volume remains constant. So with that concept, we will solve this question. So let the length L1 of this wire be L. Let the area of cross section of this wire be A. Okay. Now for the second wire, the length L2, it is given that it's increased to 3L and we don't know the area of cross section. So the area of cross section, we don't know. Now we can write here the volume of first wire is equal to the volume of second wire right because it is the same wire only which we are stretching now let v1 be the volume of the first wire which will be equal to the volume of the second wire now the volume of the first wire is area into length right so the first volume is l into a will be equal to the volume of the second wire. So the volume of the second wire will also be equal to its area into length. Now length is here 3L and area of cross section we don't know. So let us write it as A2. Now this LL gets cancelled. So A by 3 is equal to A2. So the area of cross section of the second wire is 1 by 3 of the area of cross section of the first wire. All right. So A2 is A by 3. Now we need to find out the new resistance. That is the resistance of the new wire. So let's write down. Now we know that the resistance is given by the formula R is equal to rho L by A. So let us write this as equation 1. Now let the new resistance is given by R dash is R dash. So R dash will be rho L2 by A2. All right. This is L2 by A2, which is rho L2. We have got here is three times the original length. This is 3L by A2. We have got here is A by 3. Right. So we can rewrite this equation as R dash will be rho into 3L by A. This 3 will come to the numerator. So it will be into 3. So 3 into 3 is 9. So taking the constant out 9 rho L by A. So now what is rho L by A? It is nothing but our original resistance we have written in equation 1. So rho L by A is nothing but the original resistance. So the new resistance R dash will be 9 times R or it will be 9 times the original resistance. So we can write the new resistance will be 9R. That is option C is the correct answer. So I hope you have understood the solution to this question. If you found this video helpful, please do like this video, share it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous year's board exams. I've shared the link of the playlist in the description box. It will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams.